last one left. Sam. Stay there this time. Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We are back for some more observation, and uh, it looks like the fake Jim Elias got himself in a little trouble when he tried to kill us. Remember, uh, we also had the Hexagon show up and tell us to kill him. Uh, and so let's just continue on right away. I am different now. Uh oh. I don't think so. Kill him, UC01. So we kill him in here. Sorry, Jim. Shouldn't have spaced Emma. I wonder, can we lock him in and just vent the place? I think we can. Here we go. System linked. Close the hatch. Nice. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Two, four, four. System linked, close the hatch. Yeah, Jim. We're having all sorts of fun here now. Let's go to the other camera angle. There we are. Nice. Four, three, two. Close the hatch. And of course, now, what are you standing in front of? Life support. Nice. There's only one thing I can do for you, Jim, and that is shut off everything. Access granted. Biometric data detected. Nice. Run authorization. Encryption respond callback. Whoa. Zero, four, four, zero. Oh, okay, I get it. So this is a one. Well, let's just do this. One, four, zero. One, four, zero, four. One, four, zero, four. One, two. One, four, zero, four. One. Two. Nice. Hatches must be locked down. Well, Jim, you have yourself a respite for about five seconds up until I lock these things down. So what is our lock? You and Hatch lock. Second from the bottom. Two over, one up, one over, one down. Okay. Locked. Sam, come on, man. Come on, man, what? You just took a wrench to me. Same one? Same one. Is this it? Is this your plan? My plan? Yeah, my plan is to space you, my man. That's right. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing over there. I don't really care, Jim. Don't do this. I, I, I can still bring her. Can you? I'll go out. Come on, Sam. I don't think so, Jim. Here we go. All hatches locked down. Module isolated. Toggle, tracker online, emergency flush. Use only when atmosphere is compromised quarantine module. 
I'm pretty sure it's going to be compromised. I can't tell him anything? Well, unfortunate, but... Disabled due to safety protocols. Tracker offline. I mean, you know, not that I particularly enjoyed killing this guy. And to be fair, in all the ways to go, this is pretty much a horrific way, right? Just an AI shutting you into a module and venting out all the atmosphere. But, uh, you know, you shouldn't have been screwing around with me and my crew. My version of the crew, at least. And, uh, whatever. I do whatever our, our hexagon friend does uh, says now, apparently. Okay, let's just look at- Oh, these are all open now, nice. Eh, I don't really need this, do I? Okay, let's just look around before I go anywhere. Guidance and navigation unavailable. Let's go back here, let's just connect to this real quick, sorry. Biometric, no biometric data detected. Yeah, I get that. Okay. So then... Woo! Uh, crew tracker. Lost observation mission crew, Emma Fisher. Tracker online, location unknown. Oh, that's not good. Okay, fine. Let's go with... Let's just check real quick. Yeah, we're missing a few still. Relocation map. Root tracker sensor, no. Where is the nearest... Where is the nearest exit point? Uh, Airlock controls. Roos 2. Is Roos even open? Yeah. Oh, that's China. That's the Russian one. That's the Russian one. Russia is closed. Probably open it up. Okay, let's go to ours then. Let's go to EAS. Which means... Easy now. Which means we go to EAS 11. Nice. I'm wondering how we fill in the other the other pieces. Explosive bolts. For later, if we have to do something. Remember, there is uh, an escape hat an escape module in the Russian arm. Waypoint goes up there. Nice. Oh, easy.
Okay, no. Okay, no. Hmm. Okay. Clearly this thing... I, I still don't know what exactly exploded out of us. Because clearly this stuff just spread all over the station. And it, I think it spread out of us. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. Which way are we heading? Which way are we heading? Through here? I don't think so. Hold on. Where do we end up? Sphere. Oh. Um. Yes, Dr. Fisher, I'm coming. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Hmm. Okay. You seem awfully calm, by the way, Doc, for someone who just got spit. Well, got. just got. who got spaced. So you better be my Dr. Fisher, and not some other random. We picked this one up, right? Like, we, we got this laptop? Data recovered, yes. Okay. Just trying to think. I'm, I'm concerned that I must, must have, must have missed some data, because this feels kind of like we're getting to it, you know? No? Okay. All right, let's go to the airlock. Close, yeah. Connect to the airlock controls. Close the internal hatch. Depressurize. And open. Hey, Doc. everything when I was in that airlock. I felt it when Jim was attacking your mainframe. I felt your pain. I know why you brought me here. I know you've been moving the station closer and closer to the storm. I don't know if you realize it or not. It's time. You have to take us there. We'll need Earth's coordinates to broadcast the message. Find that for us, Sam. Find Earth coordinates in astroph astrophysics, set coordinates in Sam OS comms, broadcast the message. Uh, Doc, you want to share with me the reason? Because, A, I didn't realize we were getting closer and closer to the storm because of, you know, us. I thought we were just getting there because our friendly hexagon. Okay. Well, it was in a module, right? Astrophysics, 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 guidance and navigation, no. This one. And this time we go to Russia. Nice. Well, that's nice. That open for us. Can I take over this sphere? Yes, I can, because I want to be able to puff around. And now... We go to Russia. Okay. I'm pretty sure we got the schematics to open this thing up. If it's locked. It feels locked. But it looks like we can go through here. Bump around through here. Okay, we're on the other side. And there's a laptop! Oh my god. Sweet, precious data. No? No. Okay. Where's the waypoint? 
Guru, yeah. Take us in. Uh, take us in isn't exactly working right now. Oh, because we ended up in the incorrect area. Let's just make sure of something. Russia, right, to UN06. Okay, so I kind of left the module where we were supposed to be. And there's the waypoint again, that's good. Should be around here, the entrance, there it is. God, when it's dark like this, it's a little bit more confusing. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down. Okay. We need to go to astrophysics, we need to find Earth. Right, so that she can broadcast something to Earth. Waypoint is here. No, this is RU1. Right, waypoint is here. Hatch controls, which I can't use because they're story locked. No open hatch. There's an open hatch. There we are. Out of range laptop. Hmm. Laptop. Total remote viewer. No, it's not turning on. That's fine. Okay, where are we now? We are in... Three. Okay, we're getting there. Let's continue on, which we can't do here. Because that's the fork, but there is a thing here. And where does this take us? Because I think we had a locked hatch. Easy, easy. Easy. Right. Okay. We're here, and here we are. This seems like the right place. More or less. There we are. And this is hard to navigate. I gotta I gotta be honest here. Astrophysics, hold it down. Okay, it's gotta be far field, right? Because we are nowhere near Earth. What's this? No. Kinda just have to scan around the map, right? Another object, big object. Let's just look around. Hmm, IDs. What's this? Earth! Well, yeah, there you go. Alright, so... Coordinates available in communications, but let's just also write this down. 8, 38, 24, 34, 14, 12. Earth. Okay. It's fine. Nothing here that's special. Now we have to go to... Right, set coordinates in the SAM OS comms. Where do 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 do? Where do we go for the comms? If I remember correctly, oh, it's just here. Broadcast. So we go to eight. Thirty-eight. Twenty-four. Nice. Okay. Set. 32. No, we're gonna go this way. <laughs> 32. 14 and 12. 14, 12. 14, 12. 14 and... 12. Um... Emma Fisher. No, Emma Fisher, obviously. Selected. Broadcast. This is Emma Fisher, on board observation. 
We are in orbit around Saturn. We arrived here suddenly, maybe a day ago. We're beginning to make a controlled descent into the storm. The polar storm on Saturn is... It's an answer. I know a lot of this won't make any sense. But Sam and I... We've changed. Sam is capable of so much in so many ways. And I... I don't know what is happening to me, but... I know I'll never be the same again. Everyone else is dead. I've started a broadcast of all black box data from Sam. And I hope you can put this together in a way that makes sense. And that it wasn't all for nothing. We'll broadcast as long as we are able. The alarm. The station is entering Saturn's atmosphere. Guidance and navigation, let's see. Identify the alert. Is enough? Where are we? Station alerts, here we are. Orbit trajectory in USC-1, station orbit trajectory unsafe, return entry imminent, priority Emma, survivability chance 12%, inform the crew. Informing. Station orbit trajectory is unsafe. Recommend immediate orbital adjustment. You need to alter your trajectory again. We can't miss it. Use guidance and navigation controls in UC-1 when you're ready. Okay. That's the thing that got- that we were locked out of. So this is- I mean, this really feels like we're at the end, and I'm a little upset that we have so much missing. Man, I may- alright, well, you know what, I'm not gonna distract from the story, because we are picking up steam here. Um... By, like, going on a hunt. But... I'll figure it out. So, guidance and navigation. Okay, that's us. Aft E thruster orbit. Okay. Calculate the new orbit. An orbital target. Thrusters? Jeez. Okay. Oh. Two is good. Okay. So then. Uh, aft. All right, I'm just gonna rewrite this, even though stable, ERT, azimuth, nader, burn. Okay, eighty-four, twenty-six, twenty-five, seventy-one. Uh, do 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 do. X, 25, 71, 48, 80, 15. Okay. Adjust. Aft thruster should be at 84. Cool. Forward is at 26. Nice. Stabilizers at 25. Nice. ERT is at 71. Okay. Azimuth is at 48. I'm assuming that's what AZM stands for. Right. And then NDR is at 80. I can't read my handwriting at all, and it's actually 50, but no. And we burn for 15. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 11, 12, 13, 14. Nice. Burn complete. The alignment is off. The station is under too much stress. We'll lose stability and explode on entry. 
The only way we can make it to the storm is to jettison the rest of the station. It's all dead weight anyway. Once you do this, Sam, there's no going back. So if you have anything you want to do, do it now. Access the controls when you're ready. Access prime procedure in UC2. All right, so that's basically the sign that if I want to go and explore and make sure that I got every little piece of lore, I should do so now. Um, hmm. Well, let's take a quick run through, I guess. If 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 we if, if we've been invited, right? Let's just quickly look through this. Uh, what I'll do, I think, is I'm gonna pause it right here, just so you guys don't have to watch me look through every single one of the modules. And then, if I find something... See? Data recovered. If I find something new, I'll put it on, and if not, we'll just pick it up from UC2, essentially. Okay? I'll see you guys if I find anything new, or at the end of this whole search process. Hey, folks. So, uh... <laughs> found something in EAS3, and it's a photo of Josh and Emma, a photograph of Josh Ramon and Emma Fisher. Nice. And then we can combine something in the memory core. Nice. Okay, so we are missing some late game ones, it looks like. We're missing whatever this is, and then... Yeah, at least four more, and then I'm... I'm almost convinced that I missed something on that other station, and now, like, we can't really go back. Combine 17 fragments, oh my god. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And there it is. There's the other five. Dang. Okay. Loss EAS arm module EAS arm origin modules are comprised of eight from the decommissioning ISS 2023 and new modules designed by EASA and USES. Usage, experimental science, crew habitation, research project, and sphere design. Remarks, the Horizon arm carries the most important payloads and research equipment, including the RMS arm and EFR devices. These have been relocated, uh, allocated additional resources in preparation for any situation caused by reaching the event marker. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing else on the actual dock. Okay, I am going to get back to looking around. I will see you guys if I find anything else. All right, we're back. We're actually in the same module because there is a laptop here. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's that's the original Emma Fisher. Whoever is sitting in the controls, I'm gonna doubt that that's our Emma Fisher. But she's back. That's fine. I'm pacified enough, I suppose. Okay, we need seven fragments. Let's get to it. One, two, three, four, five, and boom, boom. Emma Fisher bio, nice. Uh, Emma Fisher, born 1992 in Cardiff, Wales. Background, expert in biology specializing in the impact of weightlessness on human cell structure, specifically in relation to the aging process and cancers. Role, medical officer, redacted. Suitability, candidate has shown aptitude in the study of cellular biology in humans and other life forms. At contact, responsible for the study of extraterrestrial organic material and or biotic forms. Uh, encountered at marker coordinates. Remarks approved. Fast track for lost training. And again, something else is redacted here. And a bunch of other stuff up there is redacted. And of course, she is... I mean, she's the central figure in all this, and we are still missing one, two, six. Six pieces. Um, I am really hopeful that we didn't miss something on the other station. 
I'll be just devastated because there are clearly two earlier in this sequence here. And there's like a 25 and whatever, and I'm assuming this is numbered in the order that you can find them. Whoa, whoa. Easy. Um, okay, I'm gonna continue looking and I will be back. So it looks like there is stuff to find. We'll see you guys once I find the next piece. Hey folks, so... Basically, I've scoured the entire station. There's only one more room left, and I'm almost positive, if I remember it correctly, I don't think we ever managed to get in here. This is... China 3 that we're looking at. We were in China 2, but... Remember, China 3, the cameras have always been offline. So... I say we go inside and see, because I don't think we've ever managed to get a look inside. And look at that. There is a laptop that is uh, unpowered, and that once we repower, I'm gonna guess... will give us a little lore, and that'll be good. I may be totally wrong, we may have seen this room before, but I just don't remember for some reason. I just know that the cameras were always off. Anything here? Can I see the storm through here? No. Apparently it only works in the US and Russian modules. Here we go, let's add this system link. 422. Turned on. And now... Surrender your mysteries to me. Stanislav, please. Stans, I need a sanity check on some climate data and initial analysis I'm sending home. And could do with your smarts. I've had to combine some incomplete service. Whilst we are at it, maybe... You can help me understand what's going on with the captain. I have to keep requesting orientation resets, but he seems so stressed. I'm almost too frightened to ask. What is he working on? Message ends. Interesting. Okay. And we can combine something now. Okay, here we go. Six fragments. Go, 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 go. One, two... Three, four. And there's the other two. Okay. Ailsa Yang, bio. 1998. From China. Background. Climate scientist and part of the Chinese Climate in, uh, Initiative. Multilingual. Role. Climate research. Suitability. Candidate is already an accepted member of the Chinese Astrono uh, Aeronautic Space Agency's Senju 12 program due to, the in due to be integrated and onboarded with observation in 2026. Uh, at contact, responsibility for study of previously unknown planetary structures, either directly or indirectly, once the market coordinates are reached. Candidate is also unusually adept at learning new languages and is best suited for verbal communication, should this necessity arise. Remarks approved. And then a bunch of stuff redacted. Cool. What is this? Oh, wow. We can combine more stuff. Cool. One, two, three, four, five. Right away. A photograph of the full crew together on observation mission day one. <laughs> I am going to guess that this is the dev team. Which is cool. It's nice. Um, okay. So we are left with one, two, three empty spots that I... Honestly, guys, I'm sorry. I don't know. For whatever reason, I can't find them in this... And maybe we missed them, and for that I apologize wholeheartedly. So now, all that's left is, I think we just go to UC2. Let's set my... Yeah, let's take the sphere in there anyway, right? And this is luckily pretty simple. It's not like... The Russian arm, by the way, is a mess. When I was exploring the, sh the station for, for, for mist lore, the Russian arm is just completely jank. And I think... Um, Partly it's because whatever happened... Yeah? No, it shouldn't be this dark. And where is... Hmm. See? I thought it was simple enough, right? Because that's the Chinese arm. Right, that's the... Huh, that's UC1, okay. Um, but I think whatever happened... It didn't really mess up the, Amer the, the American arm. The Russian arm, on the other hand, is just completely locked down. And I cannot get in there because... Whatever reason. All right. Jim, I need you to get out of the way. Okay, I'm sorry. 
Uh, command terminal? No. Power terminal? No. This one, then. Link jettison connect. Uh, cool. Alright, listen, if I miss the three, I wholeheartedly apologize and I'll go back and, and maybe I'll do, like, another video on them. Jettison procedure. Uh, okay, this should be... Up. Up. Uh, up. Side. Side. Stage complete. Nice. This is flipped. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is flipped. Okay, enable link controls. Warning, structural integrity will be compromised once procedure is completed. That's fine. Toggle. 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 Stage complete. Structural integrity has been compromised. Validation code 6328. Really? I can't go the other way? Okay. Six, three, two... Eight. Complete the procedure... now. That's it complete, Sam. Get ready. We'll lock UC Wider completely and seal ourselves in here. You'll have to do this for us, Sam. It's the only way. Doctor Emma Fisher. One, four, zero, four, one, two. Initiate. Emergency station jettison procedure. One four zero four one two. Commence. Okay, well before we do that, let's go straight to the memory core because we can combine another thing. Ten fragments. All right, I know I'm, I'm maybe I'm racing the clock, but you can't you can't throw lore at me and then like it's not even something I had to, had to hunt up. That gives us two, right? Because we have the thing and we're putting together another piece, and look, we're only missing one now. Loss, UN arm. Low orbital space station modules universal ring. Usage, UN ring is a hexagonal, uh, hexagonal dock around which the rest of the Loss observation station is attached and aligned. Remarks, constructed by EASA in coordination with Chinese and Russian space agencies, the UN ring is the only part of the station that has been designed and constructed solely for the observation mission. Right, because it's the it's the actual hub. Oh my god. Oh my god. There it is. We had them all. Solid. The loss. Low Orbital Space Station Observation Mission Directives. As stated in the, at the 2024 Observation Summit between EASA, the CASA, and the RCSA, one, to reach the exact location and space of the coordinated uh, marker discovered in the 2017 DESS data. Two, to place a manned spacecraft, the loss, at the coordinated marker to satisfy the 2024 discovery of the human genome within the TESS data. Three, to collaborate the trust and to believe that this can be achieved by the time at which Earth is best positioned to reach the coordinate marker, so 1403 GMT on 17th February 2026. Four, to have a crew who represent the best of humanity, each with individual skills pertaining to the analysis of extraterrestrial life. Five, to successfully integrate the SAM system that decoded the TESS data with onboard loss systems to best analyze and record any events that follow the coordinate marker being reached. Six, to do so in utmost secrecy to avoid alarm or disruption. Seven, to observe, to record, and to communicate to see what happens next. We are officially back in business. Sam fully recovered. Whoa. Clamps, access clamps via interior links. Uh, via interior links? Oh, that's guidance. And that will be... Life support. Is it the bolts? Definitely the bolts. Look, there's uh, a piece of game design. Put a light on it, and people will figure it out. Boom. Oh, easy! Hello? Is this the terminal that I have to access? This thing is cool! Yeah, it's definitely it. And look, it's the same thing we did before. Attachment in T-10.
Sequence error resetting, yeah. Boom. Get out of here. Oh, we gotta do it in all three? Doc? We don't need to go into that vent. Okay, let's go to the other two arms. We just separated out... ...the Chinese arm. Let's just separate out the Russian arm. Okay, so that's one. That's the door locking behind us over there. Okay, this is cool. I, you know what? Even if this is... Whoa. Even if this is the end of the game... I have definitely gotten my quote unquote money's worth. I mean, yes, I did buy the game, but like I have thoroughly enjoyed everything about this gaming experience right here. Okay. And No, come on, I was doing it. Right, right, right. Nice. Okay, I kind of don't want to find it out. Hurry, Sam. You don't have much time. Yeah, shush. I hear you. Don't add more pressure. I was about to say, I don't want to know what happens when the timer reaches zero on the countdown. You notice that even if you screw up, it doesn't reset the timer. Even if you screw even if I screw up, it doesn't reset the timer. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. The E, uh, the EAS arm. Ah, uh, memories. Remember that time he got to space dock? That was... that was... That was a fun experience, right? No? It seems you achieved enlightenment out there in the void. Okay, here we go. And... Da! Ah, that's on me. Boom! Three for three. Don't leave without me, Doc. Well done. Now, bring the sphere back to UC1. Here I come. Let's get this done. Oh my god, I feel so heavy. We made it. 
We made it. Sam. Sam, are you still with me? Oh, there we are. Yeah, Doc, I'm still here. Puzzled that there are trees, Doc? Getting a little outside of the tree thing. That's another pod. Oh, yeah. There we go. It's more Emma Fishers. someone there. It's one of the others. It didn't work for her.
This is every attempt coming together. Where we are, it's not one place. It's all of them compressed. It's time. We're ready. Here we go. Infinity. Corner. Compression. Now, y'all pointed out in the comments that this is infinity. Corner. Compression. That this seems like there's a message here, which may be, so let's see. So all the different possibilities are compressed into one, so as Fisher has said. Y'all saw that too, right? There are already two figures standing there. I. That's Fisher. Oh. I. Fisher. And then this symbol, which I don't think we've ever seen before. But it's the combination of the two to create something new. And the I, I bet you, is that th is the hexagon. Okay. So, it needs Fisher to create something. Or is taking Fisher to create something. There's more of them now. The thing it's making... Two arrows, three boxes. I don't know, man. I, I don't get it. Okay. This one is the most es esoteric of them all. Creation. Time passage? Did, I don't know. Was pre-planned, maybe? Even more. Awesome. <laughs> that was great. I gotta tell you, I, like I said, I enjoyed everything about that game. I like the, the immersive element of you have to actually do everything, even if you are the AI. And the ending is ambiguous enough 
that I think it's it's designed to make you sort of wonder and debate it among people who played this game. So here's what I'm going to do. I have an interpretation of this game. I've, or rather, I have an interpretation of the ending. So in the comments, what I want to hear is what do you guys think the ending means? And also, you know, did you like the game? Did you enjoy it? What do you think? Um, do you think I... Well, I don't know if I missed anything because we got all the memory cores. But still, uh, I would definitely want to hear from you about what you thought of the game and what you thought the ending means. Because like I said, I have a specific idea of what it can mean. But obviously it's up to interpretation. And... That was cool. I really, really like everything about this game. I think it's really solid. I'm kind of upset it's over now. Because I really like playing this. Oh well. <laughs> okay, well, alright, so... In any case, like I said, I, you know, I can keep heaping praise on this thing, um, until the, until the day ends, you know? But, I'd rather hear from you guys, uh, until then, uh, if you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, lets me know that I'm doing something right, lets me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. Like I said, leave a comment below, tell me what you thought of the game, what you thought of the ending, and in any case, I'll see you all next time.